Good morning, boys and girls. It's Measurement Monday, so we're going to do some measurement today. Um, we're going to be working with customary weight measurement today. Customary means it's what we use here in the United States. And with weight in the United States, we use pounds and ounces and tons for our measurement. Okay, so let's, um, let's uh, look at some things. When we um, convert ounces to pounds, or pounds to ounces, or pounds to tons, or so on. We want to keep this in mind over here. So you might want to get a piece of paper or your math notebook and write this down so you can refer to it as you do your um, lesson today. Uh, so if you're going from a larger unit, like from tons to pounds, you would multiply. If you go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you would multiply. Okay. If you're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you would divide. Let's say you're going from pounds and you want to change that to tons, you would divide, okay? And you would um, find out how much is in one, and that's what you would multiply or divide by, okay? All right, so I have some examples here on the board. Um, it's also important to remember you might want to write down this in your math notebook, that 16 ounces equals one pound, okay? And there are 2,000 pounds in one ton, okay? So we got ounces, pounds, and tons. Not so many to think about, at least. And so we're going to be working with this. Let's fill out our table first for pounds and ounces, okay? So we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply? We're going to multiply by 16. Okay, so 1 times 16 is 16, obviously. So 2 times 16, maybe we can do that in our heads. Let's see. 2 times 16, yeah, we can do that. That's 32. Um, 3 times 16, hmm. Or maybe we can just add 16 to that 32, and that would give us 48. Okay, and then... 4 times 16, or add 16 to the 48. Getting a little hard there, so let's go over to the side and do some multiplication. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2, so there's 60. Oops. Putting my 4 before my 6. 64. And if we want to add 16 to that for 5, it would be, let's see, I can't do it in my head this morning, it's a little fuzzy, 7880 is what I thought it was, okay, and then 6 times, that's going to be 96, so we have ounces changed from pounds, okay, alright, so let's do some work over here. Five tons would be how many pounds? Well, I know there's 2,000 pounds in one ton. So I'm thinking 2,000 times the five, and you're like, oh, that's awful big numbers there, Mrs. Phillips. But remember, we learned how to do this a while back. Do your basic fact. Two times 10, or two times five, I mean, is 10 and then tack on three zeros. So five tons is actually 10,000 pounds. That's a lot of weight, yes. All right, so eight pounds, two ounces, okay? So eight pounds, we would do eight, 16 times eight, four times eight, or four, eight times six, I can't talk this morning. 8 times 6 is 48, carry your 4, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, so 8 pounds is 128 ounces, okay, and let's go from 32 ounces back to pounds, or about 2 pounds, so we're going to divide this time, 32 divided by 16. Okay, or we could go over here and look at our chart. Oh, 32 ounces is 2 pounds. Okay, all right, so not real hard. We're easing back in after this 
week, week and two days off school. Can you imagine? Um, although we did have two virtual days on Thursday and Friday. So if you haven't, if you didn't realize that, you want to go back and you catch up all that work that you missed. And then we've got this today, virtual today. So let's jump right back in there with Measurement Monday. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.